Bonjour, in this video I'm going to show you how to correct lens distortion in your photography. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the beautiful, the romantic city of Paris, France, and I live in Los Angeles, California. In this quick video, I want to show you how to correct lens distortion in your photo, especially when you shoot buildings. Here it is. All right, guys, crazy lens correction and perspective changes in uh, Lightroom. You know, I did a book on, on, on New York and uh, I, I was walking in the streets and I was always, you know, looking up at the buildings and shooting them, you know, one photo, two photos, three photos. And I want to show you a little bit of my workflow on how I did the book. That's actually a photo, I think, from the book. Uh, it's somewhere in Soho. I, I, I saw this building, so I took one shot and I took a second one. And then what I did is I... This is the raw file. I took them both and I right click photo merge into panorama. And uh, I, you know, I used to, uh, back in the days, I, I was using a lot um, Auto Pano Pro to do my panoramas, which is the best software out there if you're serious about panos. But, you know, I find Lightroom to be so good. So here is different thing. We have cylindrical, spherical. It's basically a different perspective. Now, obviously, the one that seems to be right is the perspective one. Okay, so usually what I do on this one is I do not click on auto crop uh, and I do not do boundary wrap either, especially when it's architecture because it's going to just make it weird again. Oh, maybe actually you know what? I can try that. You know what? We're going to try both versions. All right, so now we're going to go here. Usually what I do is I click on auto uh, and sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. I don't like that the fact, you know, Otto did an okay job, let's see here, and I can go here and I can crop the photo, and uh, okay, so that's that's not bad, it's a little too much, let's, let me reset this and let's try, uh, the other way to do it is to use the, um, the guided line, so guided line, the way it works is you make two lines, one line, usually on my main subject, and another line on something that's on the side, you say, okay, I want, and both of these are going to straighten, and actually, this gives me a better result. I like that. So I'm going to crop this and crop this. I, th I find it's a little more natural than what we had earlier. Okay, now let's see. That's the uh, that's the version with the boundary wrap. Let's see here. Does that okay? That's the version with the boundary wrap. Very similar. Uh, but you see, the problem is already touching. I don't want to cut this out. So let's see, let me reset this. Oh yeah, because I did something on it also. Let me reset it completely. Okay, it's fully reset. Okay, cool. So on this one, if I click on auto, let's see what it's going to give me. Uh, not so bad. Uh, not so bad. And let's see what guided. So I'm going to click off and click on guided. Let's see what it's going to give me. Now we can compare both. Okay, yeah, it's a little too much. All right. So now I'm going to crop this in this. So now here is what we have so this was a boundary wrap version we have a bit more sky which i like and this is the one without boundary wrap it's very very similar at the end of the day it's very very similar and uh so just for the fun of it uh i think you know on this one i'm not going to do that i think it's too much so what you can do if you think it's too much you can go back here and uh i can click off and then okay let me go back to here Sometimes you don't have to solve it completely because it's just going to look weird sometimes. So what you can do is use guided. And that's what I love to do. It's a little more tricky. Okay, so I have to uh, redo the guided. Come on. I want to reset guided. So how do I reset guided? Hold on the option key and click reset upright. Okay, that's what you have to do. Okay, now guided. So I'm going to do it again. I'll show you something. And I'm going to do it again here. And as soon as I let go, it's going to do that. But it's too much. So you can go here and get it back to what it was uh, just very slightly and play around. So it's kind of a little bit better, but it's not too much. Well, that's, oops. I'm going to delete that. You can add more lines, but I don't want to. And just can play around with that until you have something that you like. That's too much, so you can back it down a little bit. So you can keep some of the uh, of the perspective. You know, it's still a little bit, uh, yeah, the other way around. That's kind of confusing. Maybe uh, you just move it until you find something. So it still has a bit of perspective, but it's it's let uh, you know uptight. So you you have you can crop a bit less, 
I think I enjoyed that maybe a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure because now it's really crooked. You know, it's kind of tricky, so let me go back. But you get a bit the idea, you know. Uh, let me show you how I retouch this photo again. So hold on the uh, reset upright. And, you know, you just, or you, the other thing you can do, instead of using guided, you can just use the, and I love to do that, you, you can use, use the, uh, uh, no, not the horizontal, the vertical settings to play around with. And that usually helps a lot too. Um, but sometimes it mess up your crop. So I, I think I'm rather going to do on this one where I have more space on the sky. So you go here and you just really have to play around. There's so many options. So vertical. Yeah. And you can decide, like, I don't want it to touch. Okay, that's good enough for me. You can even click Contrast Crop. Okay, that's too much. Uh, Contrast Crop, I want some of the bottom. And I think I'm going to go for this look. So it's really like you have to play around, see what you like. Yeah, I think this is a more natural. It's still, a, you know, leaning a bit, but it's more natural. And on this one, I'm going to use, so I'm going to give you my welcome kit. You just click on it and you can get it through Messenger. Uh, and you, then it's going to take you to, uh, uh, it's going to send you an email with uh, two videos, how to install my Lightroom presets. So I'm going to give you some free presets, including some amazing black and white ones. Uh, actually, I'm going to, I think I'm giving you all my main black and white ones for free. Let me show you how to use this black and white preset. So you go into the special effect presets, which you're going to get, and you have some black and white ones that I'm going to click on. I think this one here, yeah, or maybe this one, yeah, this one, and boom. So it's way too strong, but that's fine. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to take this, which is a gradient, and I'm going to use this new option, range mask off. I'm going to go luminance, and I'm going to move the range here on the right, and that's going to take out the, the, the graded filter from the building. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one range mask luminance and you just move this to the right and so it's going to darken the sky but not the building that much let's see and if you don't know what it's doing you can just select this and hold on the option key so you can see the mask that it's creating and what you want is get as much possible of white sky and black yeah something like this that's good you have to go further uh, i like the idea of having you know the sky that's kind of dark but not too much the, uh, and you can move that up, you know, a preset is meant to be moved. This is a preset that darkens the bottom of the photo. So you, when you use one of my presets for my welcome kit, you have to move around some elements. Okay, and on this one, you have to click on the circle and you have different circles, which is like different points of light. And you just have to move them in places you like. Like, uh, yeah, this is good. Uh, this, I'm gonna move it here. And all it does is that it complexifies the light a little bit. And this one, I'm just going to erase this one. Just press delete and erase this one. Okay, and then I'm done with that. I think my blacks are a little too strong. So you hold on the option key, you look at your blacks. Yeah, it's a little strong. I'm going to make this brighter. And my whites, let's see if I have anything. Okay, the whites, I can move further to make it a bit more white. Not that much. Yeah, you can hold on the option key to go to the limit. You don't want any, any burn dots. And voila, you know, it's a... Uh, and if you think it's too much, you can lower the you know the the contrast, make it a bit more. But you know it's a great starting point. So that's what I did for this one. Let me show you another one that I love from New York. Same idea. Uh, this is the uh, flat iron building, and I love this one because I w in my book I made everything black and white except the yellow taxi, I think, uh, which is kind of rather easy to do. So on this one, I think I'm just going to open up the shadows, bring down the highlights to my blacks, my whites. Maybe not open up the shadows so much. And I think I'm gonna go, let's go directly to upright auto. Let's see what it's gonna give me. Ooh, I love it. I love what it, it did. Uh, you know, I, and I can try guided. In this case, I can also try vertical, just moving the vertical a little bit, you know. And then, so when you do vertical, sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna see that you need to do a bit of rotation. You see, uh, so you can go to rotate, and just make sure it's straight and click on constraints cropped. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty straight. And then on this one, let's have some fun. So I'm going to basically desaturate everything. I'm going to go to saturation except the taxi. And the taxi, I'm going to boost the saturation. And everything else, I'm going to make black and white. Something like this. Okay, maybe also all the orange. Yeah, just a little bit of orange. Okay, 
But then how do you want to make everything else? Well, that's when you, you, you can you do it in two paths. You take a little brush and then you go to saturation. This is just for the fun of it. Saturation, I think works on his photo. And I'm going to just, you know, I, I'm basically brushing everywhere except that one taxi. And okay. And ex except what, which is orange. Okay. And then if you really want to erase the other taxis, uh, where well, you have to put the feather and the flow at 100%, click a new brush and you have to do it several times. So let's say I wanted to really erase everything, you have to do two brush pass. I don't know, I mean, I know what that is, but just do two brush pass like this and leave that one taxi. I'm gonna make that brush smaller. But, well, it's a classic photo you find at Ikea, for example. Okay, and I wanna add more drama, so I, I think I'm gonna lower this. We really wanna be on a flatter in buildings. And uh, okay, the brush again here. I really want to make this black and white, except the taxi. Yeah. Voila. You know, very cheesy effect, but sometimes it works. And on this one, I'm going to make a gradient. I'm going to lower the exposure on the gradient. And remember, if you don't want it to be on the building, you go to luminance and you just move this to the right until it only affects the sky a little bit. I just want to add a bit of a gradient here in the sky and maybe do another one here so that it's kind of like adds a bit more drama to the photo. You know, maybe add some contrast, something like this, you know, and I could spend more time and, you know, add some, maybe add some clarity. I don't add clarity on, uh, when there is clouds, but there is no clouds. And then we get this sort of cool photo, I'll show you the before any after. I kind of went overboard, you know, more than just, you know, uh, lens distortion, but this is, I wanted to share with you because I just did this book on New York and it was so cool. Thank you very much. Please leave me a comment and tell me what you would like to learn on Photoshop, on Lightroom, on photography, on plugins, whatever you want to learn. I, I'm reading every comment. I will try to answer. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me. And if you did not subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click on subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.